Next, we will have translation. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. And they said, O thou to whom this exhortation has been sent down, thou art surely a madman. Why dost thou not bring angels to us? If thou art surely the truthful, we do not send down angels, but by due right. And then they are granted no respite. Verily, we ourselves have sent down this exhortation, and most surely we will be its guardian. Next, we will have a hadith about the significance of memorizing the Holy Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammadin. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim. إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد عن ابن عباس قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الذي ليس في جوفه شيء من القرآن كالبيت الخريب. Translation: Hazrat Ibn Abbas رضي الله عنه narrates that the Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "The case of one who does not learn any portion of the Quran is like that of an abandoned house." Jami Tirmidhi. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم for the least. Next, we'll have saying of promised Messiah Islam from the book Our Teaching. As 
السلام علیکم saying of hazrat masih maud alayhi salam about the blessings of the holy quran bismillah arrahman arrahim study the quran with deep contemplation and hold it very dear Love it more than anything else. Saying of Hazrat Masih Maud, alayhi salam, about the blessings of the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Study the Quran with deep contemplation and hold it with very dear. Love it more than anything else. God has said to me, Al Khairu. Kulluhu fil Quran, meaning all good is contained in the Quran. This is the truth. Pity those who favor anything besides it. The fountain heads of all your prosperities and salvations lies in the Quran. There is no religious need of yours which is not fulfilled by it. On the day of judgment, the Quran will confirm or deny your faith. There is no other book beneath heaven besides the Quran which can directly guide you. God has been most benef benef benefit benef towards you in that he has bestowed upon you a book like the Quran I tell you truly that if the book which has been recited to you was recited to the Christians they would not have perished If this favor and guidance which has been bestowed upon you had been granted to the Jews in place of the Torah, some of their sects would not have denied the day of judgment. Therefore, appreciate this favor that has been bestowed upon you. It is a most precious favor. It is a great wealth. If If the Quran had not been revealed, the whole world would have been nothing more than a filthy, half-formed lump of flesh. The Quran is a book, in contrast with which all other guidance amounts to nothing. Our teaching, page twenty and twenty-one, Jazakallah. Jazakumullah to all the students who participated. Um, next, we have Nazm. Assalamu alaikum. Quran is a book. Quran is a book. Quran is a book. Quran is a book. Pehle to nazre 
for that love so now I will present the I've reached the end of of term of the G3 online Hibsul Quran. And I want to start by saying Jazak, many of you, you ever looked at the G3 course logo, but there is a story behind it. When I was coming up with them, and I the very three people holding their hands. And I thought that this was, this was the perfect logo because it can re represent the student and how all three of them can work together and who have been wonderful throughout the course, those of you who attended all the classes regularly and those who also arrived early. Although over time our course have seen a decline in attendance, I want to say to those of you who are here today that your hard work was not in vain. Be as hard to record your attendance. Michael ensured that everyone is getting equal opportunity to come on the mic. I can't possibly mention all this to you know who you are. Those of you who always did your homework, the surahs, and within your these include the last 10 surahs and selected verses of surah. It certainly wasn't easy to Memorize a new surah or a new set of verses every day. But Alhamdulillah, all of you had a dedication and a commitment. Jazakumullah to all the parents as well. And the most show the things and on top of their hips. There were times when we received positive feedback from parents, and at times we also received some complaints through email. And both of these children as well. Lastly, I want to say to all the teachers, students, and Parents, the teachers here, we extensive team of teachers made of three groups. The first group of teachers are those 
who worked on screen teachers, as you would know, the main and support teachers were there with them. They were responsible. the main account and the our break in on Friday to the Jesus who were working off the his recordings which were received through e recordings that were submitted I believe that it was important delivering this course because when we don't have time, when we forget about the hard work, cherish them in our and we don't realize. I hope that all of the students and parents can remember what was Allah has bestowed upon us that Allah has bestowed upon us through Jamaat Ahmadiyya. Next we have, we will have Madrasa students who are scheduled just to um, say some words to the G3 students. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope everyone is doing well. I just wanted to show my appreciation and how proud I am of all of you with a few kind words. In one hadith, it says, the best among you is the one who learns the Quran and teaches it. I feel so blessed to have been given this opportunity to be teaching all of you at such a young age. And I hope I have come out as a role model. Everyone who I taught during these classes amazed me. And I see a lot of potential in you when reading this holy book. When I was at your age, I went to a place called Al Hafizun, which is where we learn different parts of the Quran off by heart. During that time, I learned the 30th part of the Quran. After two years of attending that class, I was able to get into Madrasatul Hifs, which is a more intense class and where you learn the whole Quran off by heart. So far, I have learned 20 parts, including the 30th, in just two years. What I have learned through that time, is that you should never give up and be resilient even if you find a certain part very tricky. And if you do this, you'll be able to achieve many things. My tip is to just repeat what you are learning many times and sooner or later it will become much easier for you. I hope this has been very beneficial for you. Jazakumullah. Walaikum Islam, yes, Basil. Uh, okay, so Aslanikum. And um, uh, first of all, I'll um, uh, all of the G3 students for their um, um, uh, amazing commitment. And um, uh, I would just like to say that um, uh, you should continue this. Um, uh, and um, uh, remember that you will be um, uh, receiving ble blessings from Allah. And try to um, try to write letters to your Hazul and ask for prayers. Um, uh, also, uh, create a timetable in which you can learn and um, uh, follow parents' instructions as they will um, uh, guide you the right way. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. We have one more um, madrasa student. So guys, assalamu alaikum. My name is Mahir Rahman. And as you know, I have been teaching you whilst memorizing the Holy Quran. Mashallah, you have been doing very well. And I have seen you in the regular classes on Friday in the breakout room. I would like to say some words to motivate you all to continually improve your readings. Firstly, I would like you to stay focused. You being determined on your memorization and having a constant drive to keep going is key to succeed in this aspect. Having this strong mindset alone will greatly help you learn the Holy Quran. Mashallah, seeing you progress, I can tell you're all doing very well. May Allah continue to help improve your memorizations and readings. Amen. 
جزاک اللہ سو آئی ہوپ دیٹ آفٹر لسننگ ٹو دا مدرسا انکریج اینڈ موٹیویٹیڈ ٹو کنٹینیو آن دیئر جرنی آف حفظ القرآن ان شاء اللہ سو have already memorized and have even started receiving emails asking about next. For those of you who would like to memorize more surahs and parts of the Holy Quran, you can apply to Al-Hafizun Academy. Also, some students have memorized everything on the syllabus but due to, able to recite it or send their hips to recording. So for such for sending hits recordings to the 25th of July. Okay, so all of you will have a few days after Eid to send your recording course. Then you can email us at g3hips at gmail.com and we will forward your information to Allah and I will bring briefly um, describe the way to apply for al Zoom. So, so the way to apply would be it. Then you will be contacted in charge and you will receive more information regarding your entrant. I wish you all, all the best with your next steps. Now it's time to receive feedback from parents and students. So those are a few who would like to pick a few from there. Assalamu alaikum, ST. Waalaikum assalam. Okay, um, so I just said parents and students, if they have feedback, they can raise their hand and you can unmute them. Okay, um, ST, can you hear me? Um, yes, I can. Um, I've just unmuted NG3079. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, and you 3079. Alhamdulillah. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. okay. Um, do you have some feedback? Or is it your parents who have some feedback for us? Um, no. What is, I don't mm. know what okay. is feed me. I don't know what is feed me. Okay, so do you have anything to tell your teachers? Something you liked about this course? Um, yes. Okay, you can say it now. Tomorrow I'm going at the year one. Okay. And G3079, your parent sitting with you? Um, no. Okay. Um, if your parents have any feedback to give to us, they can do it now. Um, we'll pick another student. Yes, I'm just going to unmute AG3069. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Yes, AG3069. Yes. Do you have, have any feedback to give to us? Um, yes. Um, I really enjoyed G3 Hives and Crown class, and I came in 10 minutes before because I was so excited um, to learn about the Quran and like have goes um, to recite the Quran because I have so much love with the Quran that I just love it so much. And I just wanted to thank you for teaching me. 
Okay, thank you very much for being a punctual student um, and for arriving 10 minutes early. Um, that was very nice of you. Um, there were students who would join us um, late sometimes for various um, reasons. Okay, but we will we were always grateful for the students who arrived on time. So, Jazakallah. Okay, good afternoon. Allah Hafiz. I'm, I'm now going to unmute um, NG3015. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Yes, NG3015. Yeah, it's a. Uh, alaikum assalam. This is her mom. Um, yes, uh, I would like to say Jazakumullah and not just a big Jazakumullah to all the teachers for their time and dedication. And I do very much appreciate it because I know you are mothers like uh, myself and other parents as well, but you are dedicating your time. And yes, I know there are also heaps of uh, uh, students who just spoke and I really am grateful to them. They are very motivating for the students and inshallah, um, yes, I pray for my child to also be uh, go further to that extent inshallah. But then yes, I, I am very, very grateful for having you three and all the, the uh, heaps of uh, I mean, all the uh, classes out there because um, I can tell you my daughter had just finished uh, Yasna Quran when she started G2. And then she she went so well and so good. That, and then I thought, okay, let's go to G3. And she came in with a few surahs. And I can say that within this time, she's managed to like, without me teaching her at all because it's I've been struggling for the past but then she's managed to tell me six new series just by sitting here and listening and I can't imagine how much time I would have spent in actually teaching her sitting her down so it, I'm so so grateful for for teachers uh, for dedicating such time to to teach them just a color so much for that um the only thing I would like to ask is that um I would like because I know my daughter is gone further, but I, I would like her to sort of repeat the G3 again and see how much uh, she could actually make sure that she got everything because there are a couple of them, which I will try my best to teach her. But I think uh, to do it again, it will be really good for her um, to have a really good foundation to move on to Hafizun, inshallah, when she's ready to um, for me to um, apply for her. So is it possible for a student to actually reapply to join G3 again, please? Asalaamu As Alaikum. Yes, it is um, possible. As long as she um, meets the criteria, which I believe she does because she attended G1 and G2. And I think she's um, rich um, because the students need to be six to 12 years year old and I think she'll still be here so and Jazakallah for your um all of your feedback um it was really nice to hear um new surahs um I'm sure that it was um it's it was really nice for us to see every day that the students were back uh, memorizing new surahs or new verses so it was really nice and Jazakumullah to all of the students and parents, as I mentioned earlier as well. If the students weren't here, then there will be no one for us to teach. So in a way, you made this course possible. So Jazakumullah. Okay. Can we have another student? Yes, I'm just unmuting AG3102. Assalamu alaikum. So I want to say Jazakallah to all the teachers and I am very grateful to have this opportunity to be in G3 and it was very enjoyable and helpful and I am and I want to get an admission in half a zone and I pray that may Allah enable me to do so I mean and Jazakallah for helping, helping us and all of you are very, very kind and always just gave encouraging Comments. Allah Hafiz. Jazakallah G3102. Um, another. Walikum Aslam. 
Assalamu alaikum. I'm Farid mother. I just want to add that I also want to extend my big gratitude. And I was particularly impressed by your dedication and patience with the children. And I just have one question to ask. Like from our side, we think that Farid has recited all the surahs and he has also sent recordings of all. But if it is, then will it be possible if you can give us some feedback if there is uh, any surah which you have not received so that he can send a recording again? Because we want him to apply for half a Zoom. So we want his portfolio to be completed. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. Yes, um, I can, yeah, I can reassure you that um, we, we have received all of um, AG recordings and um, the teachers, um, as I mentioned earlier, we have three groups of teachers and one of the group listens to all the recordings and they, they mark the recordings as well. If any surahs that are missing, we will let you know, we will email um, applying so we will let you know okay i'm now going to i think uh, okay um yes should i want to meet one more Please student unmute the next ag3008 yes Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa rahmatullah. I would yes. like to say, I would like to say that I'm very grateful of you for teaching me because I was very excited to start G3 and I thought that it would be a bit more harder than G2. But then I realized that it was really fun. And I would like to say Jazakallah to all the teachers for teaching us. Um, okay, Jazakallah. Jazakallah for all the feedback. Um, does your mother want to say anything? Um, my mother is not here because she's gone to a shop. Okay, that's fine. Then I'm sure all you enjoyed the course. Okay, so we, the teachers really work hard to try and make this as fun as possible. Um, Although it is not um, right, especially the things that are to make this a fun experience. I'd like to invite the head teacher for the concluding remarks. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. By the grace of Allah, Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Jamaat Ahmadiyya, since its beginning, 100 years back, more than that, is busy in different fields of the services of the Holy Quran. And in every part of the world, in every country where Jamaat is established, Jamaat Ahmadiyya, Ahmadiyya Muslim community is holding the flag of khidmat quran services to the Holy Quran, high. And just for the sake and pleasure of Allah the Exalted, free of cost to all members of our community, not only our community, but other members who are not part of our Jamaat. 
Now, <clears throat> as I mentioned, that under the banner of Khilafat, Ahmadiyya, Jamaat is progressing and making positive contribution in khidmat e quran services to the Holy Quran in different fields. And in United Kingdom, a systematic beginning of uh, memorization of the Holy Quran, these classes were started in 2nd September, on 2nd September 2000, in the period of Khilaf Arabia. And Al Hafizun was established to facilitate our young Atfal and Nasrat to memorize the Holy Quran as much as they can. And they started their journey in Noor Hall, 2nd September 2000. And in the beginning, the classes, the physical classes were held in uh, Masjid e Fazl, Fazl Mosque, Mosque. And then sometime after that, when Beth al Futu was uh, in, inaugurated, it, we shifted to Beth al Futu. And in addition to the physical classes, we held classes over phone. And also at that time, I'm talking about it's 2000 and 2001, when there was a, a online system, it is called Paul Talk. And in Paul Talk, we converted our Hifsul Quran, you know, that program for the Hifsul Quran facility. And for a long time, our weekly classes were held there. And there was some non-UK student as well. For example, is one, one was from Germany. And then after it continued over phone and this, that, but in March, 2017, with the advancement of this uh, technology of this uh, online facility and different, uh, this arrangements, we started our online classes on Zoom in 2017, in which, you know, the G1 course was introduced, starting the Qaeda, and then the G2, the Holy Quran, reading of the Holy Quran, improving the pronunciation of the Holy Quran. So when our Atfal and Nasra, they completed that uh, the initial stage, the beginner stage, for example, the Qaeda and the Quran, the improvement of the pronunciation of the Holy Quran, and then uh, naturally that idea came to us that uh, al Hafizun in Bayt al or uh, at that time, that is not enough because uh, al Hafizun is basically only for those who are living in the vicinity of London, London-based basically. And, but there are many our Atfal and Nasrat who are interested in memorization of the Holy Quran because without hips, without memorization of certain parts or some parts, our, uh, our prayers are incomplete. You remember in the standing position, we have to recite Surat Al-Fatiha and after that, a portion from the Holy Quran. This is part and parcel in, uh, in the units of the prayer, in the, in the Qiyam, in the standing position. So Hifzul Quran is a, a very fundamental part of our Islamic life. And its history goes back to the first spiritual experience of the revelation in the form of the Holy Quran in uh, uh, Cave Hira to our beloved master, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where the Holy Prophet Sallam memorized the five verses of Surah Al-Alaq, chapter 96, and after that it continued for, you know, 23 years, it is said. So in short, uh, G1, G2, and after that, we, uh, in 2020, last year, we organized a online Hifzul Quran uh, course, and it was named G3 Hifzul Quran uh, online course. Um, but uh, before that, I like to tell you that uh, there was a good feedback from G1, G2. And then in December 2018, a Hifzul Quran winter camp for 10 days was organized by Talimul Quran Department in Bethul Hassan, in which uh, Farad Fal 
and uh, that was a residential camp and not only uh, from the jamaats uh, london but outside london um, as far from manchester or birmingham or other parts uh, of uk jamaat they our fall came to there and then that was a great success um so that was a awareness and uh, a positive feedback that we should do something online for this hifz quran program so as i mentioned that in 2020 we uh, started now uh, you have just heard about uh, madrasa students madrasatul hifz so madrasatul hifz was started initiated under the direction and uh, Uh, guidance by Hazrat Khalifatul Masih Al Khamis Ayatollah Taala bin Nasir Aziz in October uh, 2019, and as you can see that uh, in October 2019 we started this uh, Madrasa Tul Hifz that was basically a, in addition to Al Hafizun, uh, and then to make it wider for the wider benefit for to uh, make a progression we started G3 course in uh, 2020. so now hifzul quran letter in the uk jamaat by the grace of allah is quite unique that our students atfal and nasrat first they have to complete g3 online course which is uh, you know that is uh, about 50 classes this class uh, is uh, 48 today because tomorrow is eid and after that there is another holiday so we are completing this course within uh, you know with 48 uh, classes so 48 classes means 48 hours so g3 and after g3 is al hafizun where uh, we have uh, atfal section boys section separately and also nasrat girl section separately and they are doing wonderful and after that you know the third and the final uh, stage or you can say is a, like a grammar school intense program hifzul quran is madrasatul hifz where at present only uh, atfal we have made that arrangement and as you have uh, just heard from uh, three of our uh, boys who belong to the first batch of madrasatul hifz they started in 2019 october by the grace of allah they have completed the 20 parts okay 20 parts and they are now memorizing suratul qasas uh, in addition to part 30 that is uh, juz amma they have started from surah al baqara and then by the grace of allah within two years i would say before two years they have completed and inshallah according to the program they would complete within 3 years with the two uh, revisions so uh, g3 hifzul quran course is quite unique and especially uh, that is the first online course of this uh, nature either if you go to any other jamaat for example in uh, this europe european jamaat or in uh, western Hemis- hemisphere outside you know like uh, canada or america or others our uk jamaat mashallah allah taala you know our atfal and nasrat they have been given this facility um and uh, now we have com- going to complete today the second uh, course of g3 because 2020 was first and 2021 will uh, is the second is uh, the second and inshallah taala this course will be repeated every year because uh, there is a very positive feedback and uh, uh, that uh, result so g3 inshallah will come again in 2021 in progression to g1 g2 and g3 remember the first uh, three courses g1 g2 g3 uh, is for atfal and nasrat and especially uh, starting reading of the holy quran improving the holy quran, uh, pronunciation of the holy quran and then memorizing selected portions uh, of the holy quran now uh, all these recordings of uh, last year course and this year course is available for you to view and improve yourself and keep revising whatever you have memorized so at the end i like to give my uh, heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the shamilin basically many participants of the this uh, course atfal and nasrat and those their uh, facilitating parents mother especially and also i like to pay thanks to our dedicated team of teachers uh, both uh, you know the first time and i very much like that concept which was presented by the in charge of this uh, course that 
by the grace of allah there were some on screen teachers and some off screen teachers and the micro teachers the madrasa teachers were in addition to that one that were micro teachers you remember that uh, four days monday to thursday they have to read the holy quran to their specific teacher on daily basis madr madrasa teacher and on friday they are required by the system by our syllabus to help out in either g1 g2 or g3 whatever the course is running uh, they would be helping on friday so in this case you uh, they will gain confidence and basically we uh, 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 in addition to hifzul quran they would be ready to teach the holy quran for the whole of their life as a commitment and that is part of their syllabus that uh, they they would continue this khidmat e quran services of the holy quran uh, wherever they they will be and uh, on top of that um, i like to give my great thanks and uh, gratitude and prayers to in charge of this course uh, mashallah maliha nayab saiba uh, wonderfully organized very well uh, managed dedicated um slides were made and uh, led uh, her team very wisely confidently and mashallah may allah bless all of you either you are participants teachers off screen on screen micro teachers and in charge may allah bless you immensely in in the both world and uh, uh, i would uh, advise again in in the end that keep revising in your daily prayers whatever you have memorized uh, one mother came uh, here and uh, you know commented that my Uh, daughter has uh, learned six new surahs is wonderful mashallah that whatever even if you have learned one portion five portions or whatever now this is a responsibility of the mothers of the parents that they remind their uh, children to keep revising in their prayers okay in fajr prayer and zuhur asr maghrib isha in their uh, sunna prayers in their uh, obligatory prayers they keep revising only by repetition by revising this memorization this hifz will remain intact otherwise you know with the passage of time uh, the words uh, or uh, are deleted or basically are corrupted in in memorization in in the hifz in the memory so it is important and also take benefit from the recordings uh may allah bless you many fold and inshallah taala see you who are more committed and can meet the criteria in uh, al hafizun remember madrasatul hifz entry cannot be taken directly but it is a uh, it is a, a filtration coming through from al hafizun so al hafizun cannot be joined without completing g3 and madrasatul hifz cannot be joined once uh, al hafizun uh, course is completed and person is uh, ready to embark on an intense program so please uh, kindly pray for the success of all these programs which under the guidance and directive of uh, hazrat amirul mu'minin uk talim ul quran department is uh, organizing and facilitating and those who are listening to me especially the parents the mothers and the fathers and others uh, kindly take part in waqfiyar's scheme okay that is very beneficial and uh, this is saying labbab to the the khalifatul masih uh, you should take part in waqfiyar's scheme and uh, still that is going online uh, you can take part and be be part now could you please join me for the silent prayer and that will be that will conclude uh, our g3 second online hifzul quran course dua
ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم بارنا مناسكنا وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد وبارك وسلم انك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته